Now to an option for cattle producers to improve hay nutrition. Dave, you have quite a project going on out here today. We do, Lindell. We're going to take some low quality forage and we're going to turn it into some pretty nice quality prairie hay. And the process we're using is called ammoniation, where we just use anhydrous ammonia, inject it into a stack that's covered and sealed, and it changes the chemical profile to the point that the really low quality material, if you're a cow, turns into very good quality hay. Okay, why don't you walk us through the process, kind of what the steps are and, and kind of what the recipe is, per se. Sure, um, there's, a, there's a fact sheet, which we can link, of course, to the uh, SUNUP website, that producers can go to see the details. But essentially, the big picture is, is that we're gonna stack the hay in a format or form that will fit underneath a 40 foot by 100 foot sheet of black plastic and we're using six mil plastic, which just means the heaviest black plastic that you can buy. It needs to be heavy so that we don't poke a lot of holes in it. Uh, and then once we cover it, we're sealing it around the edge with some fine rock here today. Uh, that will create a, kind of a gas proof barrier. And so we'll trap the anhydrous ammonia underneath that plastic tent, if you will. And once the anhydrous has been exposed to the hay for, oh, in warm weather, about two weeks, in cool weather, about a month, you wind up with a really nice quality product. Okay, what is the injection process involved? What do you need for that step? The injection is the easiest part of the whole thing. And, and what we did was we ordered an anhydrous tank uh, that, in, that had the amount of anhydrous ammonia that we calculated we would need for this stack of hay. We have 69 round bales of hay under this stack, and they weigh about 1,450 pounds each, so that it's very, it's, they're pretty heavy bales. Uh, but we calculated that we wanted to inject about 2.5% of the weight of the hay anhydrous, and so we just ordered a tank with that exact amount of anhydrous in, so we didn't have to worry about when to shut the tank off. We'll just pull the tank up here to the stack, uh, poke the hose underneath it, crack the valve open, seal around the uh, hose again with the fine gravel or, or rock, and then, and then let it slowly work its way into the stack of hay. Dave, let's go take a look at a bale that's already been ammoniated and we can talk about the benefits then for the cattle. Okay. Dave, tell me what we have here. This is a bale of wheat straw that has been ammoniated uh, prior to this by a producer uh, down around the Guthrie area. He uh, ammoniated this about a month ago. And so, you know, it went from the kind of the light tan uh, or khaki wheat straw color to more of a caramel color. And, and that's common with ammoniation. Most hay types are gonna turn a darker color. And it's because a, a chemical reaction occurs in the fiber portion of the hay. And actually, if you feel the texture, it's much softer after the ammoniation process has taken place. So the, does that mean it's richer and, and more nutrients? Then? It is, it is. The crude protein content of this hay is uh, about a little over 9%. Before we ammoniated it, it was just a, a touch under 4%. And so it would have uh, doubled the crude protein concentration, which of course would reduce your need for expensive protein supplementation um, this winter for the cow herd. The other thing that happened uh, is that, and has been documented time and time again through the research that's been done on ammoniation, is that the digestibility increased in this particular batch of hay from about 47% up to 52, which is a very substantial increase in, in energy for the cow. The last thing I'll tell you about uh, ammoniation, uh, Lindell, is that it, it is very palatable. You and I can smell the ammonia coming off of this bale of hay right now. Uh, if you open the stack and let it air out for maybe a day or two before you feed it, it's generally not a problem. People are you know, concerned about that, but the cows don't seem to mind at all. It's very, very palatable to them. Okay, and then you mentioned some of the benefits, but how does that translate then to benefits for the herd? The bottom line is you should expect uh, improved animal performance or 
you could reduce the amount of hay that you needed to feed because every, every bit that they consume, they're actually mining more nutrients from it had you not ammoniated it. You kind of looked at the cost benefits and, and what this means with ammoniated hay versus supplements. If you look at a concentrate supplement that's generally going to provide protein and energy, um, just from a general standpoint, the value of ammoniation in, in the calculations that we did with this particular hay um, meant that we could cut back on winter supplement, the concentrate supplement, by about half of what we would have had to fed with the hay, you know, not being ammoniated. So that really adds up after uh, a winter. A, a, a big savings, yes. Okay, well we appreciate the demonstration and the information today. You bet, welcome, thank you for coming out. Okay, and for more information and a link to that fact sheet that Dave mentioned, just go to our website, sunup.okstate.edu.